stands up at the stump and that's all he talks about. He doesn't talk about the economy. He doesn't talk about the supply chain. He doesn't talk about, you know, us losing our rights, lockdowns, nothing. It's just straight vaccines. But what's happening, Laura, is right now in Canada, we have one of the biggest revolutions happening. And you probably haven't heard about it because nobody's talking about it. But uh, right now there's 50,000 truckers and about 1.4 million people headed to the parliament in Ottawa. And they're going to stay there until Trudeau resigns or they give us back all of our freedoms and rights. You know, when you separate people, it's easy to, you know, mm -hmm. to uh, create power through separation. But, uh, but like I said, what we're seeing in the country right now with these truckers and it, it Honestly, it has ignited the whole entire uh, country of Canada. And uh, uh, I know that, uh, you know, I've, I've been spending a lot of time on social media helping, you know, promote the truckers and getting their word out and, and all that. And so uh, even I, uh, you know, big tough hockey player have, uh, you know, shed a few tears because uh, I haven't seen my country this behind something and this excited about something in a very, very, very long time. So, so hopefully, it takes a lot to you, know, some... yeah. it, you know, it takes a lot to get the Canadians angry. I mean, it's like yeah, Minnesota nice. Anger. And if Minnesota is nice, Canada <laughs> is like jubilant all the time because they just, that's not a, it's not a protest culture in Canada, correct? Right. Well, that, that's the thing is in Canada, you know, we're considered really nice and, and all these things. But the thing about Canadians is eventually, you know, our fuse, our long, long fuse um, burns out. And that's where we are in the country. And everybody's, you know, wants change. And, and uh, we definitely want to have an impact, uh, you know, with this with this movement or revolution or whatever you want to call it. We want, we want change to happen. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm sitting in downtown Calgary right now where, where this place used to be like one of the biggest meccas for oil and gas in the whole entire world. And, you know, 30% of the office or 30% of the office space is filled and the rest is empty. And so, you know, we, we went from this incredibly bustling, amazing place to, you know, people are losing their jobs. You know, we've had a yeah. lockdown. We've had, yeah, we've had all these things. Perfect. And so, you know, and, and Theo, you know, for Theo, me, for me, for me, who guys played, I played ten times for my country, and I put my jersey on and had the maple leaf on, and and I know I was representing the people of Canada, and I can tell you that what is happening in the country right now is every, it, it's way bigger than than that, and that's why I've loaned my name to this because I'm a patriot. And I like my freedom, and I want my freedom back, and so so do the majority of Canadians. We we don't want government no longer involved in our lives, and and, and what's happening a, uh, is this is a warning. Yeah, Theo, yeah. we got to roll, yeah. but this is a warning yeah. to Americans who are sitting by idly, who say I can't fight, I'm too scared. Your message.